Hi, it's a great pleasure participating uh, into this uh, fully virtual uh, mini Congress dedicated to CAR T cells and lymphoid malignancies. And my task for the next few minutes or so is to give you a summary about the current status and results of CAR T cells in multiple myeloma. These are my disclosures relevant to this talk. Uh, I think when it comes to immunotherapy, it's really a very exciting era uh, in the field of myeloma. Uh, we have uh, some uh, very nice uh, antibodies uh, which are proving their efficacy uh, in uh, the frontline setting, but also in the refractory relapse setting. But we should not forget that immunotherapy is also uh, about cellular therapy. Uh, and this is where the CAR T cells uh, are uh, making uh, a very uh, nice uh, entry into uh, the arena. So CAR T cells in myeloma, like in uh, other indications, uh, the goal is to redirect TCR towards tumor antigen because you would like to overcome HLA restriction and induce uh, an appropriate or sufficient number of high affinity T cells capable of killing the uh, tumor. Uh, in the field of multiple myeloma, uh, BCMA, the B-cell maturation antigen, is currently the most uh, popular uh, antigen uh, being studied uh, in, uh, and being used uh, for the design of CAR T-cell. Uh, and this is due to the fact that it is expressed by uh, most plasma cells, but also some mature uh, B cells. It's a universal uh, expression. And most importantly, the BCMA uh, knockout mice are actually healthy with normal B cells, but reduced plasma cells. Uh, on, in another word, actually, you do not have uh, extra uh, or off-target uh, collateral uh, damage when one is using uh, CAR T cells directed against BCMA. I'll be straightforward and show you the latest update uh, from the uh, largest studies in the field. During the last uh, ASH 2019 meeting, we have seen an update of this so-called Legend 2 study. So this is uh, a CAR T cell directed against BCMA where patients were in relapse, uh, but this is not uh, a highly advanced relapse like in the Western population. This is a Chinese uh, myeloma population where the median uh, lines of relapse is three, lines of therapy was three, Patient received after leukapheresis and CAR T cell engineering, they received lymphodepletion with cyclophosphamide and the CAR T cells were uh, infused. This is the LCAR B38M uh, product. And with this longer follow up uh, and confirmation, uh, we can see that the median duration of response uh, was 27 months, more than two years. And the median duration in the CR patient was almost 30 months, 29 months, which is two and a half year. The response was rather quick because the median time to response was 1.1 months. And you can see on the East curve, the progression free survival, but also the overall uh, survival curves. You have almost 50% um, of a 30 months uh, PFS, and this is higher for patient in a complete uh, uh, remission. The equivalent uh, of uh, this trial uh, in the US uh, was a so-called CARTITUDE 1 trial. So this is exactly the same CAR T cell product that was tested in this phase 1B2 study, uh, the so-called JNG4528. Uh, and uh, these patients actually received cyclophosphamide and fludarabine for lymphodepletion, 
and they were all in progressive uh, disease. Uh, the follow-up is relatively short. However, with the first 29 patients who were included, uh, we can uh, see a relatively good safety profile with only uh, two cases of uh, uh, severe uh, CRS, uh, one grade three and one patient unfortunately uh, died. Uh, and uh, the median time to the onset of the cytokine release uh, syndrome was seven days. And this is consistent with uh, previous trials. The uh, amazing figure is this one, which is about the efficacy, where almost 100% of the patient achieved a reduction in the monoclonal component. Uh, and uh, you can see here that 86% uh, had more than uh, VGPR and 69% more than uh, CR. Uh, I would kindly draw your attention that uh, 17 uh, evaluable patients uh, were MRD negative. And this is uh, quite uh, uh, impressive. Nine of them uh, were MRD negative at the level of 10 minus 6. And one would expect uh, some long-term survival in this group of patients. Here you have a summary of the uh, expansion uh, of uh, these cells uh, uh, in uh, vivo. Uh, in general, uh, there is a correlation between expansion and efficacy. This hasn't been clearly shown in this study, uh, but we know that the best responses were also independent of the BCMA expression in multiple myeloma cells. So that was uh, one product that hopefully uh, will uh, enter into the market uh, soon. The other product, uh, which has been now widely used in clinical research and hopefully uh, coming uh, into the market, is the BB2121 product. And I'm sure uh, people are familiar with this uh, phase one uh, initial uh, study, uh, which actually was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2019. And I would uh, draw your attention that these patients received a median of seven prior lines of therapy. 45% uh, of them had high risk uh, cytogenetics and they have received and failed uh, almost all the drugs that we usually use uh, in the relapse setting. So uh, during uh, the last ASH meeting, we uh, had a press release actually uh, uh, describing the uh, results of the extended phase two KARMA study uh, in 140 patients where they have tested uh, actually the same product in relapsed refractory patient after uh, at least three prior therapies, including an IMID, a proteasome inhibitor, uh, and an anti-CD38 uh, antibody. Similar to the uh, other trial, uh, the rate of severe CRS was only 5.5%, uh, and the uh, median uh, follow-up was almost a year, 11.3 uh, months. And the results were shown to be uh, absolutely uh, consistent with the results of the phase one trial with a median duration of response of 11 months. The story of CAR T cells uh, in multiple myeloma doesn't stop with BCMA. We have already uh, data and trials uh, using uh, bispecific CAR T cells namely directed against BCMA and CD38. And we know very well uh, these are good candidates. Uh, in uh, good, good, These are two uh, good uh, candidate antigens in multiple uh, myeloma. Uh, and what we can uh, glean from this phase one trial performed in China is that the feasibility is good. Uh, the tolerance uh, is also good, 
and there were no uh, severe uh, side uh, effects uh, being uh, observed. So you don't see more severe events compared to uh, CAR T cells directed to BCMA alone. And the level of response is also uh, impressive. Obviously, uh, this needs uh, to be uh, confirmed whether uh, a bispecific CAR T cell is better than a single uh, target CAR T cell, but here we can see that 81% uh, uh, of the patients were able to achieve MRD uh, negativity, and the overall response rate is almost 91% uh, with 12 stringent uh, CR uh, patients. When it comes to immunotherapy in multiple myeloma, uh, it's not only about uh, uh, CAR T cells, and I mentioned in my introduction uh, the advent of uh, monoclonal antibodies drug conjugate. And one important uh, study and candidate drug that needs to be highlighted in an immunotherapy uh, talk in relapse refractory myeloma is this uh, uh, T-cell uh, engager drug, the CC93269. Uh, the first results, uh, the design of the trial is shown here. It's a phase one, three, phase one trial uh, including relapse refractory uh, multiple myeloma patient who progressed uh, after at least three uh, lines of uh, prior regimens. Uh, the primary endpoint were safety uh, endpoint. So 30 patients uh, were uh, treated with this T-cell uh, engager, uh, and you can uh, appreciate actually that uh, the uh, incidence of uh, severe side effects, especially uh, CRS, the cytokine release simple uh, syndrome, was uh, relatively uh, low. Uh, and only uh, one patient experienced uh, grade three uh, CRS, uh, followed by grade five CRS uh, in uh, the six milligram and 10 milligram uh, cohort. Uh, otherwise, the drug was well tolerated and the overall response rate uh, was almost 90%, similar to what we see with CAR T cells. And some of these responses were uh, durable uh, in time. And actually, uh, we can also see that five out of 30 evaluable patients, 16.7% achieved MRD negativity uh, to a threshold of 10 uh, minus uh, five. So this is uh, really uh, an important new player in the field of immunotherapy for uh, multiple uh, myeloma. And this is going to be uh, a challenger for the CAR T cells, because obviously these uh, T cell engagers, which we know in the field of hematology uh, with the bite uh, technology and bite antibodies like blinatumumab in acute lymphoblastic leukemia, these T cell engager are easily uh, available off the shelf, whereas the CAR T cells may require uh, some time to be uh, prepared and to be manufactured. What we have noticed uh, in the field of immunotherapy and CAR T cells in myeloma, that in contrast to uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia and in contrast to uh, non-Hodgkin uh, uh, lymphoma, uh, these treatments, these CAR T cells are not uh, curative. And unfortunately, also some patients will uh, experience uh, long term uh, response. Uh, however, uh, most of the patient will fail the anti-BCMA CAR T cells. And there are several reasons one can speculate why do these CAR T cells fail. Uh, there are reasons which are intrinsic to CAR T cell, uh, to the product itself. There are reasons which are intrinsic to the myeloma disease by itself. 
but also there are reasons in relation with the micro environment. Uh, so uh, the origin of the T cells uh, can be clearly uh, an important limit and limitation. And actually, producing fitter CAR T cells can possibly limit the PCMA uh, positive relapses. And uh, uh, there are trials, there are data showing that depending on your starting T cells uh, quality and fitness, uh, the story uh, can be uh, different. Also, and uh, I have shown you a phase one trial about this the simultaneous targeting of other antigens beside BCMA can possibly limit these BCMA uh, negative or BCMA dim relapse because one mechanism of resistance of the cells is to downregulate the expression of the tumor antigen like BCMA. And clearly uh, having, for instance, a bispecific targeting uh, by the CAR T cells, like combining CD38 and BCMA, can be a very uh, good uh, option. You can also uh, play on the cytokines and the environment by combining different uh, available therapies for multiple myeloma. And one excellent candidate is actually lenalidomide because we know lenalidomide is an immune modulator and it can actually enhance CAR T cells function in uh, preclinical models of multiple uh, myeloma. It's not only about the imits, but also the antibodies, especially the anti CD38 antibodies, can also play a role uh, towards synergizing or towards improving the persistence and improving the efficacy of uh, the uh, CAR uh, T cells. Checkpoint inhibitors. Checkpoint inhibitors uh, can be rejuvenated maybe in multiple myeloma in combination with CAR T cells. We know very well that alone uh, they haven't proven uh, to be effective in relapse refractory myeloma. However, the combination with CAR T cell, and there are already uh, some trials uh, ongoing in this field, may uh, allow uh, these checkpoint inhibitors to facilitate the persistence and the expansion of the CAR T cells. Finally, uh, combination treatment or armored CAR T cells capable of resisting the immunosuppressive microenvironment can also uh, allow to overcome the resistance to anti-BCMA CAR T cells. So in summary, as you can see, the CAR T cell approaches in relapse multiple myeloma are highly attractive. Obviously, at some point, they will move earlier in the course of the uh, disease. Uh, I believe the results are rather uh, very good especially when we look into the trials with patients who have received a median of seven or more lines of therapy, including patients uh, achieving uh, MRD uh, negativity. Uh, obviously, they are not curative. Uh, they do not persist over time. And in many patients, they do not expand. So we definitely need tools to improve the efficacy, and that can be achieved through uh, different uh, ways. I have uh, described the uh, different uh, approaches that are currently being investigated. Uh, the bispecific uh, CAR T cells targeting two antigens, combination with emits with anti-CD38 antibodies or anti-SLAM F7, uh, combination with checkpoint inhibitors, uh, because at the end of the day, you would like to have long-lasting uh, CAR uh, T cells, uh, because these are living drugs, and one would uh, believe 
that disease control over the long term uh, can be uh, achieved if uh, these cells can persist uh, in vivo. When it comes to side effects, the good news is that in uh, myeloma, uh, the incidence of these side effects and their severity is uh, lower compared to lymphoma and ALL. Nevertheless, we still need to work on this because these uh, cells are likely to move earlier in the course of the disease. And one attractive uh, option for using them is, for instance, for consolidation uh, after uh, transplantation. Obviously, uh, the cost issue can be uh, also problematic, and you can appreciate that uh, uh, there is a very difficult balance to achieve uh, between cost, uh, efficacy, and safety. And we uh, are lacking uh, some cost effectiveness uh, and pharmacoeconomics studies in uh, this field. But you can see that this is really an area of uh, active CAR T cell investigations. Uh, I didn't update recently uh, this slide, but the CAR T cells are tested in earlier disease setting in combinational approaches. Uh, the composition of the CAR T cell, the original product, uh, are, uh, is being uh, refined. Uh, the different target antigen, I alluded to CD38, to SLAM F7, but April CAR is another one. Uh, the modulation of the tumor antigen expression, uh, the use of gamma secretase inhibitors, and of course, uh, using different constructs, including actually uh, allogenic CAR T cells, uh, which can be available off the shelf, similar to what is being now tested and studied in acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So clearly a very uh, exciting field of investigation, and these CAR T cells now are coming uh, into uh, the field and hopefully they will be commercially available soon, uh, are really making a difference in the life of many relapse refractory multiple myeloma uh, patients. With this, uh, I'd like to thank you all for your attention. And of course, I'd be more than happy to take your questions. Thank you very much.